Hi there, the 20 questions in this video are all about reproduction in corals, and the answers are posted on the comments section. Before we start, please help support this channel by sharing our contents to your networks. Now let's get started. Number 1, what is the term for corals which fertilize internally, nurture their planulae inside their bodies and do not release them until they are capable of independent settlement? A. Synchronous spawning. B. Fragmentation. C. Brooding. D. Budding. Number 2. What is the process by which coral planulae attach and settle on a suitable substrate called? A. Fertilization. B. Metamorphosis. C. Gametogenesis. D. Settlement. Number 3. What are the reproductive cells of corals called? A. Planula larvae. B. Gametes. C. Polyps. D. Symbionts. Number 4. Which type of coral reproduction involves the release of fully formed juvenile corals? A. Budding. B. Fragmentation. C. Larval settlement. D. Brooding. Number 5. What is the larval stage of corals called? A. Polyp. B. Spat. C. Medusa. D. Planula larvae. Number 6. Which term describes the process of asexual reproduction in corals in which new polyps bud off from parent polyps to form new colonies? A. Brooding. B. Fragmentation. C. Spawning. D. Budding. Number 7. What is the term for the coordinated release of gametes by corals within a specific time window? A. Sequential spawning. B. Synchronous spawning. C. Brooding. D. Larval settlement. Number 8. Which type of coral reproduction involves the breaking of a coral colony into smaller pieces? A. Fragmentation. B. Budding. C. Larval settlement. D. Brooding. Number 9. What is the process of coral larvae attaching and settling on the substrate called? A. Budding. B. Fragmentation. C. Settlement. D. Fertilization. Number 10. What is the term for the internal development of coral embryos within the parent colony? A. Larval settlement. B. Synchronous spawning. C. Brooding. D. Fragmentation. Number 11. What is the function of zooxanthellae in coral reproduction? A. Gamete production. B. Fertilization. C. Larval settlement. D. Photosynthesis. Number 12. What is the term for the release of gametes or larvae directly into the water column? A. Brooding. B. Fragmentation. C. Spawning. D. Budding. Number 13. What is the process by which coral larvae undergo transformation and settle on suitable substrates? A. Fragmentation. B. Metamorphosis. C. Budding. D. Brooding. Number 14. Which term describes the production of eggs and sperm by corals? A. Fragmentation. B. Budding. C. Gametogenesis. D. Fertilization. Number 15. What is the term for the symbiotic relationship between corals and photosynthetic algae? A. Mutualism. B. Commensalism. C. Parasitism. D. Amensalism. Number 16. Which term describes the detachment and scattering of coral larvae from the parent colony? A. Fragmentation. B. Larval settlement. C. Spawning. D. Larval dispersal. Number 17. What is the term for the growth of new coral colonies from fragments of existing colonies? A. Budding. B. Fragmentation. C. Larval settlement. D. Brooding. Number 18. What is the term for the reproductive structure of a coral polyp? A. Planula larvae. B. Gametes. C. Gonad. D. Tentacle. Number 19. Which term describes the release of fully formed juvenile corals from the parent colony? A. Brooding. B. Fragmentation. C. Larval settlement. D. Spawning. Number 20. What is the term for the release of eggs and sperm by corals in response to environmental cues? A. Larval settlement. B. Spawning. 
C. Synchronous spawning. D. Budding. That's all for now, please do not forget to subscribe to keep you posted. Thanks and see you next time.